of Noongu, Seoul, our school is famous for having no school fences, no gates. This is a way of showing how open our school is. Instead, we have plenty of trees all around our school, so we have a lot of green plants surrounding our school, unlike many schools in Seoul. No need to go on a field trip to a botanic garden if you are a student at Sango. A school so environmentally friendly. Maybe that's why our students are so innocent and pure. Superkids 참가한 우리 상국 초등학교 어린이들 최선을 다해 주시기 바랍니다. Do your best and good luck! Welcome to another episode of Super Kids. I'm in the studio full of great students from, from, where are you guys from? Welcome! At the end of the show, we have one person standing on the stage, the school champion. Everyone else is eliminated. Right now, we've got everybody, 40 students on the stage already. No eliminations. The first round is just speed, just time. Four teams all randomly choose the category. Well, we'll see what they get. And they have a very short time to get as many points as possible, maximum 10. Let's meet our first team. Okay. What is your category? Uh, hard things. Hard things. Okay, when you hear hard things, what comes to mind? Uh, tooth. Tooth. Can, can I see your teeth? Uh, no. No, okay. Well, your teeth are hard. My head is hard. Let's see how hard this category is. Let's go! A hard stone. Rock. This is the table you sit at to study. Chair. You use these to chew food. Kiss. Teachers write on this with chalk. Blackboard. A hard block of dried clay that is used to build houses. A piece of furniture which a person sits on. Chair. A round type of money, 101, 501. Coin. A nut that has a hard round brown shell. Walnut. The hard white parts in your body. Bones. Baseball players hit the ball with this stick. Bed. This is a table you sit at to study. Desk. A hard Brick. block of dried clay. Oh! <laughs> Very good. I guess it wasn't that hard. They got a perfect score, 10. Very good job. One more team. Come on out! The first team set the bar pretty high. Let's see how well the second team does. Hi, what's your category? Sharp things. Sharp things. So when you hear sharp things, do you get scared? A little bit. A little bit? Me too. OK, well, let's see how sharp your team is. Begin sharp things. You use these to cut paper. Scissor. You hammer this into the wall to hang a picture. Pest. You use this to eat spaghetti. Pest. You need thread and this to sew. Frozen. You cut steak with this. Knife. 
Dads use this to shave every day. Light razor. You draw a perfect circle with this. Compass. You brush your hair with this. Comb. A tool used for cutting wood. You have to be careful of these sharp points on roses. Fork. You hammer this into the wall to hang a picture. You use this to eat spaghetti. Fork. You need thread and this to sew. Nail. A tool used for cutting wood. Oh! Good job, good job. Not that easy. The last one, saw. Okay, let's see the total. They got a total of six points. Pretty good, guys. One more team. Come on out. <laughs> two teams down, two more to go. Let's meet them. Hi, what's your category? Gifts. Gifts. Do you like gifts? Yes. Okay, among the many gifts you got, do you have like a favorite gift? Yes. What? Clothes. Clothes, okay. Are you good at giving gifts? Yes. All right, well, let's see how well your team does with gifts. A sweet bread with icing and decorations on the top. Cake. These bloom in the spring. Roses, tulips. Flower. You read stories from these. Ooh. You wear this on your finger when you get married. Ring. You have to push the pedals to ride this. Bicycle. You wear these on your feet, not socks. Shoes. This tells you the time worn on the wrist. Okay. Kids play with these. Robots, dolls, and blocks. Toy. People wear this on their heads to avoid sunlight. Pet. Animals you raise at home like a puppy or a hamster. Pet. This tells you the time worn Watch. on the wrist. People wear this Pet. on their heads to avoid sunlight. Very good. They got the gifts down. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's give them a gift of a perfect score. Ten. Great job, next team. Come on out. <laughs> One more team to go. Shall we meet them? Hi. What's your category? Cinema. Cinema. Okay. Do you like to watch movies? Yes. And do you have a favorite kind of movie? Yeah, fantasy movie. Ooh, cool. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Then action. You eat this snack with soda while watching a movie. Popcorn. The person who comes out in a movie. Actor. This is the way out. Pass. A picture that shows the actors in the movie. You watch a movie sitting on this. Chair. Scary movies with monsters and vampires. Pass. An actor, actress who comes out for a short time. Screen. You go to this place to watch a movie. Pass. Movies are shown on this big white thing. Pass. This person is in charge of making the movie and tells the actors what to do. Director. This is the way out. Exit. You watch a movie sitting on this. Shit. Scary movies with monsters and vampires. Ex An actor, actress who comes a out for a, a short drop? time. You go to this place to watch a movie. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Kind of had a fast start, slow beginning, a nice ending there. Very good job, guys. It was kind of like watching a good movie. I think I counted about eight. Excellent. Let's move on to the next round. but it's time to do some big time pruning. That's right, teams get eliminated right now when we fill the board. They get the letter and they write as many words as possible, hopefully not repeating the same words. 
If the letter is S, hopefully not writing the friend's name like Steve, or supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. It's too long, guys. You only have 60 seconds to fill that board. Go for good words, depending on the letter, of course. Let's look at the teams and the scores. On this side, we have the Apple team. They enter the battle with a perfect score of 10. Very good. And doing battle with them, this team here. You guys are the Lemon team, and you had a total of six points, correct? Yes. Okay, so it's an uphill battle, but it's not impossible. Write as many words as you can, beginning with the letter. <gasps> Show us the letter, please. There it is! Let's go! <laughs> Oh, Apple's doing good. Give ideas, give ideas. Keep on going. Come on, guys. Help out, help out, help out. Almost finished. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, put down the face, put down the face, stop writing, stop writing, okay? A lot of M words. Okay, I think it's time for me to mark the board. Oops, got something on my shirt. <laughs> okay, let's see how well the Apple team did with their M's. Ooh, a lot of M words here. Uh, that's not right. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on to lemon here. A lot of words here as well. Ooh, okay. Uh, sorry, capital, another capital. High score. It looks like Lemon's moving on. Lemon wins. Oh my goodness, what a comeback. Holy, amazing job. That's how it's done. One team moves forward, one team is eliminated. We've got two more teams. Similar situation, one team is leading by a bunch. How much? Let's see. You guys have the perfect score. Kiwi team, total of 10, right? Yes. Okay. And this team is the orange team. You guys had a total score of eight? Yeah. Well, as you saw last time, one team was leading by a total of four points and the tables were turned. The other team got it six. That's right, six more than the other team and they moved on. So let's see what happens with these two teams. Here we go. Please give us a letter. There it is. <laughs> okay, help him out, help him out. Give ideas. Doing good. Nice. Go team, go team, go team. Woo! Very good. Check out the next team. Hurry up, guys, hurry up. Orange team. Uh, come on, give some ideas. Help them out. Keep on going. Oh. Come on, five, four, three. Two, one. Okay, put them down the tent. Put them down. Very good, very good. F, a lot of F words. Now I shall mark the board. Join me. Which team will advance? Let's see together. Okay, Kiwi team. A lot of F words here. Uh, nope. Can't find them two of those. Oh, 
Okay. Just like Jordan, 23. Okay, orange, check them out. Woo, all in the corner here. A lot of F. Like the Kiwi team is moving on, you guys win. Congratulations, you're going on. Our school focuses on three educational visions. Number one. These friends are taking science class right now. Now, that looks like an interesting scientific experiment. Don't they look like real scientists with their white gowns on? Looks like the future of Korea science world will be in the hands of those kids. What's the next vision? Moving on to number two. Did you know that our school was awarded one of the best etiquette schools in Korea by the Seoul city government in 2003? We have this program here, where our homeroom teacher gives a sticker to whoever was polite and well-mannered. And once you get a number of these stickers, you receive a good conduct award from the school. And finally, last but not least, vision number three. Our school encourages students to run every morning, and running this field track equals to five kilometers a day. How far have you gone? Come on to the second baby. <laughs> Too bad, I'm almost at Busan. Healthy, brilliant, and strong-minded. That's our school's dream motto. We need these around talented youth of Tango Elementary. You know that the Super Kids title is yours. Go for it! <laughs> The students of Seoul Sangok Elementary School have done a great job so far, and they've got to do a lot more work. Right now, we're going to find some golden nuggets of knowledge. We're going to go treasure hunting. That's right. These guys were given a book in advance, and they studied and studied. And we'll have lots of great quiz questions. Let's see how many answers they get, and who stays in, and who is out. It's in or out time. Let's see what book they were given. Hangi and Tori are off to Turkey to solve the mysteries of a 16th century genius architect's will. They also have to find the blueprint of the St. Sophia's Church. Will they be able to fulfill their mission in a country highly influenced by the Ottoman culture and the Islamic culture? Let's find out right now. Ooh, finding the treasures in Turkey. Well, thank you very much, Iseum, for your wonderful gift, sponsoring us and the books. They got those books. Check it out if you wish. And let's have two come on out. <laughs> Hi, number one and number 11. Number one, did you enjoy the book? Yes. Yeah? How many times did you read it? One more time. <laughs> how about you, number 11? Did you like the book? Yes. And how many times did you read it? Just twice. Okay. Well, if you guys are ready, here is your question. Ankara is currently the capital of Turkey, but until 1922, another city. Number 11. Uh, Istanbul. You're right. And you are in. Congratulations. Istanbul. 
We are off with a bang and let's have two more. Come on out. <laughs> Hi, number two. Do you like food? Yes. Do you have a favorite food? Yes. What? Kimchi. Kimchi. Excellent choice. And you, number 12? Yeah. Favorite food? Mm, spaghetti. Uh huh. Well, here is a delicious question for you. Get ready. Turkey has always been known for its diverse food. This <gasps> number two. Kebab. Whoa! Oh my goodness! You're in! <laughs> Very good. Okay, two more. Come on out. Number three, you ready? Yes. How about you, 13? You ready? Yes. Okay, if you two gentlemen are ready, we're ready. Here's your question. Turkey is full of beautiful buildings like the Suleiman Mosque and the Topkapi Palace. Who built all these buildings? Number 13. Sinan. Yes, you're in. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Two more. Please come on out. Number four and number 14. They look intense. A little nervous. It's natural. Here, guys, is your question. Listen carefully. What religion do most of the Turkish people believe in? Number four. Islam. Yes, very good. You're in. Excellent. Okay, two more, please. Come on out. Yeah! They get a lot of medals in the Olympics in this sport. Yes, number 16. Yeah, woo! Okay. But it has to be full of passengers to move. Number 18. Tormuji. Yes! That's right, it's a small bus. Okay, two more. Over here, please come out. We're getting close to the end. Number nine and number 19. You guys, a little bit nervous, aren't you? It's okay, it's natural. If you're ready, here is your question. Of the following, which picture is the national flag of Turkey? Number 19. C. You got it, you're in, very good. So, we've got two more and we're gonna finish this whole 20 to 10 round. So two more, come on out. Okay, number 10. Have you ever been to Turkey? No. Have you ever been to another country? Yes. Where did you go? Mm. <laughs> you forgot? Yes. Okay, well, it must not have been an interesting trip. <laughs> How about you, 20? Have you been to another country? Yes, maybe. Maybe? Yes. Okay. Their memories are a little bit foggy about the trip, but hopefully their memories are sharp when it comes to this question. Each country has its own unit of currency. For example, the won is the currency for Korea, as the dollar is the currency for the U.S. So then, what is the name of the currency of Turkey? We want to know the name of their money. Yes, number 10. Yeni Tokkirira. Yeah! Woo! You got it! You're in! Congratulations! Great job. Okay, so we've gone from 20 to 10. We've got to go now from 10 to 5. So you guys do a little shuffling, and I'm going to upgrade the questions with the, with the team here. All right, it's time to fill the five spots presently empty. That's right, they did the shuffle. We did the upgrade, and it's time to continue our search of treasure in Turkey. Two people, please come on out.
gentlemen. You know, there are people all over the world watching the show right now. So let's find some treasure in Korea. What food would you recommend to somebody coming from another country? Kimchi. Kimchi. Excellent. Okay. Fantastic. How about you, 18? Any food you recommend? <laughs> well, guys, here's your question. All Turkish coins have portraits of blank, the first president of Turkey. Okay, the first president of Turkey. Yes, Ataturk. Okay, and moving on. Congratulations. Yes, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. <laughs> Great job, and you're filling one of those spots. Four more to go. Let's have two. Come on out. Okay, guys, we heard that kimchi is one of the treasures of Korea. Now, I want to know a place to visit. Number 10, where do you recommend? Gyeongbokgung. Mm, All right. Yes. Another famous place to visit, number 13. Any recommendations? I don't know. No, fa well, you should travel some more. There's many treasures in Korea. Okay, let's go back to the treasures of Turkey. The main Turkish ancestors were the Mongolians, the Huns, and the Turks. They first established the Seljuk dynasty in the 11th century, then evolved into the Ottoman Empire. The ruler of the Ottoman Empire was called the... Yes, number 13. Sultan. Yeah, you're in the fans. Yeah, the Sultan. Great job. Okay, we're moving right along. Two more. Come on out. Okay, hopefully you know the choice, the right answer to this question. Cleansing the body is very important in Turkish culture, so the country is known for its blanks. Yes, number 19. Bet. You got it! Woohoo! Congratulations! Okay, let's have two more. Come on out! Hi, number 11. What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, playing badminton. You play badminton. Do you play with mom or dad or? Mom. With mom. Great. How about you, 16? What do you like to do in your free time? Um, playing piano. Play piano? Wow. Are you good? Mm. Well, as long as you enjoy it. Hopefully, you'll enjoy this question. Muslims believe the blank to be the message of God revealed to Muhammad, so this is the religious text of Islam. Yes, number 11. Quran. You're moving on! Congratulations! Oh boy, one more spot to fill. Great job. So, for that final spot, let's have the final two. Come on out! Hi, number four. What's your favorite subject? Math. Math, okay. How about you, number five? Science. Science. All right. If you're ready, here's your question. On the day of Kurban Bayrami, people eat cows and blank. Yes, number four? Bayram. No. Yes, number 15. Ship. Yeah, we give it to you. You're in. Sheep, of course, lamb meat. Very good. We have them. All five spots are filled. Now, if you like to find treasures in countries, if you like to know the little factoids about cool countries, well, next week we got a book, and it's about finding the treasures in the U.S. So stay tuned for that, guys. The the, the quiz is still going. So, stay tuned, we've got another intense round coming up!
Our goal now is to see who has the most powerful brain, who has the most points. That's the person, the one person of the five who moves on and becomes a school champion. Do they become a super kid? Well, that remains to be seen. First, we must take these five and give them lots of questions. Nine total, Sue so has the most amount of points. We have different categories, 10 point, 20 point, and 30 point questions. And if they use their chance well, they might even get 60 points. The chance doubles the value of the question. They all start with 100 points. No deductions, that's the good news. Let's meet our five powerful brains. Number 11 is hit him. Welcome. You did a great job so far, so did number 13, Cheung. And standing in the middle, in light yellow is Yeji, number 15. Number 18, a little more serious, a little darker yellow is Junyoung. Last but not least, number 19 is Yunsan. Okay, you're gonna have nine possible questions. Different values, like I said. Let's check out the board real quick, see what we have. We have some regulars, some questions we see every week, like this week. Shall we have that first for 10 points? This week in history for 10 points. Here it is. October 9th of this year was the 561st Hangul Day. The 28 letters of the Korean alphabet was first introduced in 1446. Hangul is now considered one of the most scientific and unique alphabets in the world. The fourth king of the Joseon dynasty invented Hangul. Who is this man? Number 15, Yeji. King Sejong. That's right! <laughs> quickly on the board, quickly getting 10 points, quickly in the lead. Okay, Yeji, what do you like to do in your free time? I reading a book. You like to read books. How many books do you usually read a week? Two books a week. Okay, about two books, excellent. Reading is a great thing. Please choose a great category. 20 points patterns. For 20 points, here is the pattern question. Look at how the shapes have changed in the first picture. Now tell us what picture should go in the blank. Number 11. C. Ah. No, number 15. A. S again. That's Yeji. You have 30 points more than everybody else. That was worth 20. First worth 10. So you're leading. Only person on the board right now. What category would you like next? 10 points equal. Equal for 10 points. Going back to the 10 point questions. Figure out the relation between the following words. Who should go in the blank? Light bulb is to... Yes, number 11? <laughs> Too quick, okay. Uh, Everybody else has their chance. Let's hear the rest of the hint. Light bulb is to Thomas Edison as dynamite is to blank. Number 13. I'm present over. You got it. No bell. Yeah. And Cheung is on the board. Cheung, I heard you like sports, is that right? Yes. Soccer. And do you have a favorite soccer player? Park Ji Sung. Excellent. Okay. Well, you got a big goal there, 10 points. What category would you like? Logic. Okay. Logic for 20 points. Here it is. Listen to the following four sentences. Which sentence is wrong? A. Bananas are fruit. B. Ants are insects. C. Animals are giraffes. Number 11. C. Yes, that's true. Very good job. Should be giraffes are animals. The word order is a little bit funky there. Well, number 11, hate him. Yes. You finally got one. Very good job. And tell me something that you really like doing. Listening to the music. Listening to music. Do you like classical, rock? What do you enjoy listening to? Pop music. 
pop music. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that was worth 20 points. You are now in second place. 120 points total. Please choose a category. Words. Words for 20 points. Here is the word question. What word commonly fits in all the blanks? Blank way. Blank light. Blank. Number 13. Uh, hi. That's right. Hi. You got highway, you got highlight in high school. Very good. Chang was coming alive there. He now is tied for the lead. Tell you what, let's look at the board right now and see all the scores. Number 11 has 120. That is Hayden, she's in second place. Then 13, Cheung, tied for first with 130. Tied with who? Number 15, Yeji, also 130. Number 18, 100. Number 19, 100. Okay, guys, good luck to you all. Now, please, Cheung, choose another category. Numbers. Numbers for 30 points. Look at this picture closely. On the die, there are numbers from three to eight written on its six sides. Yes, number 13. Five. No. Number 11. Six. No. Number 18. Four. No, that's not it. Right now, 15 and 19 have a chance. Do you guys want to guess, or do you know what it is? Work it out, 15, 19. Number 15. Two. Nope. Only one guy has a chance now, number 19. Does he know? Yes? Seven. Yeah, that's right! Very good job! Finally! Yun-san got it. 30 points, and now it's a three-way tie for first place. Very exciting. Okay, Yun-san, tell me about yourself. What do you like? Baseball. Baseball. Do you have a favorite team? Oh, uh, Boston Red Sox. Boston Red Sox, okay. Are you wearing red socks right now? What color are your socks? Black socks. Okay. Now, like I said, it is a three-way tie. We've got three questions left. Two of them are 30-point questions. If you use your chance, well, it could double the score. It's up to you. Okay, now please choose the category. Jobs. Jobs for 30 points. This is the Biotechnology Institute inside Yonsei University. Wow, so many books. And what are these weird symbols? Interesting. There he is, the reason we came all the way to Yonsei University. Let's go and say hello to Professor Shin Jong-shik. Professor Shin teaches biotechnology here at Yonsei, and it looks like he's getting ready for his next class, biotechnology. It's the study of genetics and how to make use of this study. Professor Shin says that his childhood dream was to become a scientist, and now his dream has been achieved through his continuous study in science. Now Professor Shin's dream is to see his students become great scientists themselves, with high hopes that his new dream will also come true. Let's hear the question he has prepared for us. Number 13. Sir. You got it! Very good! If you can only see him under the microscope. Well, you don't need a microscope to see that you are in the lead. 30 points added to your total. You now have 160 points. Very, very good, Cheo. Okay, we've got two more questions. Which category would you like? Super Korea. Super Korea? Oh, yes. If anybody wants to use their chance, press your buzzer now. There we go. Put your chance up. Go ahead. Very good. They're all up there. 
You can only use it once. Whoever gets this right gets 60 points. Super Korea is the category 30 or 60 points. Here we go. Welcome, Super Kids. Guess where Super Dory is at today? That's right, it's the Robot Museum. Come on, let's check this place out. Robots were first made in 1921. Since then, many countries have concentrated on making their own robots. And these are the first robots ever made in each country. Korea's first robot was the Captain Robot, which was all made of plastic. Hey, my favorite, the Adam Robot. He may be small, but he was a combination of Superman and Mickey Mouse. Come to the Robot Museum and you can become friends with robots. Look over there, there's even a dancing robot. Some will even talk to you. Are you having fun? I've met a very pretty robot here. See, she is pretty, don't you think? This is the first female robot. Oh, by the way, her name is Maria. Here is the question. Well, Robot Maria was modeled after a famous historical figure who joined the French fight against English domination in the Hundred Years' War after hearing from God herself. She led France to victory, but was later executed after being falsely accused of being a witch. Number 11. John Dark. That is correct! Very good job. Now the rabbit's gonna take away all those chances. Once you use them, they disappear. That was Hayden, very good, likes pop music. And with that, 60 points added to your total. You will now have the lead, 180 points. Unbelievable. Hayden, we have one more category left. It is part and whole. If you're ready, let's see the first picture. Everybody wants to guess, you can. Let's have the next picture. Anybody know? What could it be? Another photo, number 11. Notebook. Yeah! You got it! Very good. Okay, Hayden. At the very end, you got two crucial questions right, worth a lot of points. As a matter of fact, that was enough to make you the school champion, and you're moving on to the next round! There she is, the school champion. Excellent job, Hayden. Now, what was the most difficult part so far? Brain power. Brain power. But you did such a great job at the very end. Got some crucial questions. Use your chance wisely. And here you are, the school champion. You know how this works. You can have three possible categories. You choose the one you want, and you get four hints. If you get two correct, you are today's super kid. Let's check out the categories. Object, night, and music. I know you like pop music. Uh, Which one would you like? Object. Object, okay. Here we go. What do the following words have in common? Tree, black lead, B, H, paper. Okay. 
Some object, what do the words have in common? There's tree, there's black lead, there's B and H, also paper. Hit him. Um, you have an idea you want to guess? Five seconds. Answer is pencil. Uh, pencil. Black lead, paper. Uh, you see it all the time? Okay. So let's see the other two categories. There's night and music. Night. Night is your choice. Okay, let's hear the hints. What do the following words make you think of? Secret. Weather. Yi Sun Shin. History. What do those words make you think of? Secret. Weather. Yi Sun Shin. And history. Diary. Her answer is diary. If she's right, she's halfway there. Is the answer diary? Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Okay. Woo. One more category to go. She likes pop music. Will it be something about pop music or something else? The music category is left. Here is your question. Good luck. What do the following words have in common? Jack and the Beanstalk. 47. Pedal. Hermes. Something related to music. Jack and the Beanstalk. 47. Pedal. And Hermes. Once you get to this round, questions are very tough. Very, very tough. Something to do with music. Piano. Piano. Piano has pedals. If it is right, you are today's super kid. If not well, you are still the champion. Did a great job. Is piano correct? It is actually harp. Very good job. There's 47 strings and it comes out in the story. Great job, right? She did a great job. Today's champion. Maybe we'll find a Super Kid next week. We had a great time. Please join us next time for another episode of Super Kids Bye Bye! Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid receives a notebook computer. First prize is a digital camera. Second prize is an MP3 player. All competitors will receive gift cards from Super Kids. And all participants receive complimentary books courtesy of iSeum Publishing. The That's right! Yeah! The Sultan! Watch him move! Oh!